911, what's your emergency? Help, help, it's urgent. Someone, they stole my husband's KOM. Uh, he said something about a cookie and I think a monster. Hold on, ma'am. Are you saying that Phil Guyman, the ex-pro who steals Average Joe's KOMs on a daily basis, and also known as the Cookie Monster, this is the one who stole your husband's KOM? Yes, yes, that's him. That's him. Hurry, you have to come quick. Well then, ma'am, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to call Super Douche. Someone call for Super Douche? I did. Your bony hips and your smooth, shiny legs are exactly what we need. I'm here to put the Cookie Monster in his place and prove that people don't need to fear their KOMs being stolen. The average Joe deserves his KOM. Well, the Cookie Monster has stolen a KOM from a local legend around these parts, and I'm here to take it back. It's about 18 minutes and is gonna require mini watts, which of course, Super Douche has. I've brought out the Super Douche skin suit, aero helmet, and shaved my legs. Is there any super douchey product plugs you need to make? Of course. This attempt is brought to you by Kadex Cycling. These wheels are ultra stiff, ultra light, and with a hookless bead, they're gonna help me propel forward and steal the KOM from the Cookie Monster. Now with that out of the way, let's take back this KOM and give it back to the people. Super Douche is your hero. Super douche don't feel pain. I, I just got a bug in my throat. <coughs> Never fear. Super douche is here. That was so easy. I was barely paddling. The wheels, super stiff. So light, so fast. I was actually really surprised. So today's conditions were slower when I did 350 for 20, or I did 350 to the bridge and was 30 seconds off Phil's time. And now I was like 15 seconds ahead at, le at only like eight watts more. So I think I did just about like 358 or 359. But I think the big difference is that I started out and I did five minutes at 400. Uh, and the beginning, and usually you don't want to pace a climb like that, but with this climb, the beginning is so steep that you kind of have to get through it. I mean, obviously the bike's ultra light, the Canyon Ultimate. I've got these wood cages handmade from uh, my boy, Jamin. The uh, Celia Italia Super Boost saddle. 
I mean, the thing is literally a feather. Um, again, these wheels, these wheels are the big deal. But anyway, man, look, the fact that I could take a KOM from Phil Guyman is unbelievable. It's, it's literally unbelievable. Now I have to give this caveat. He was never going for this KOM. He got this KOM on his way all the way to the top of the climb. So if I wanted to actually take his KOM, I'd have to go another 30 minutes at that pace, which is not going to ever happen, ever. Uh, but we won't really mention that a whole lot. <laughs> We're just going to look. I got my name back on the leaderboard ahead of the cookie monster. But this course, this climb is not a great 20 minute power course uh, because of all the turns and there's like a flat section. So if you want to go fast, you actually were going to do less watts because you're, you're going to conserve in some areas and full gas in others versus just a sustained effort. Um, but I am very happy with seeing 400 watts for five minutes, then 380-ish for 10. Uh, I, you know, I really fell off there at the end around the turns and stuff like that, but I, it doesn't really matter. I'm very happy with where that is. If I kept going, I would have set a new 20 minute power for sure. Uh, but I couldn't stand and that's a vegan excuse and it's all good. Phil, come at me, bro. Come at me. How'd you make this? Okay, so um, potatoes, I like to do them in the cast iron, cast iron skillet. You kind of boil it in the vegetable broth, which I've already talked about. But this time what I did, you got to make sure they're soft. I kind of smashed them, then stuck the whole skillet in the oven, kind of got it crispy. You always want there to be a little bit of liquid to keep it um, not dry. And then cauliflower, just cut in force, roasted it in the, on in the onion, roasted it in the oven. Um, sloppy Joe's. So there's just this mix that I saw, it looked super yummy, added onions and topped with some bread. Um, then broccolini, just sauteed on the skillet, topped with avocado, the salad as normal, and then lemonade mixed with blackberries in the blender to make a blackberry lemonade. Is it good? No, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm assuming so since I made it. Oh, snap. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so dad hack is to, and you've seen it in all the videos, to get like a foam pad. How much was this thing, do you think? Probably a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for this thing? Yeah, they're expensive. What? I mean, that twin one that I got at Costco was, I don't know, maybe 40 or 60. But this one is like with the memory foam. Okay. Uh, geez, didn't know it was that much. But we have gotten a lot of use out of this thing. We got it for the van you know so I use it when we sleep in there for races and stuff but it's just been so good to put it out in the living room and then you kind of have this rough housing like area it's really good we use it a lot and I mean, it's good for sleeping in the living room yeah we, we I got it for sleep you sleeping outside oh right right right. I sleep instead on the... of having to bring the mattress <laughs> off she she makes me sleep outside so I, I love sleeping outside so the douche thing is like a comedy bit, right? Uh, it, but Phil Guyman, on his way to get a 52-minute KOM, the full pole, he picked those up. And they're within my reach because he wasn't going for them. Like, obviously, he was going really hard. And, and those are, but those are just KOMs inside of a bigger KOM that he got. So, you, I mean, you definitely have to add that stipula, that asterisk. Definitely have to say huge things to my wife those the videos like today take so much work from my wife to help me with 
uh, with filming. You know, she gets in the car and drives behind me. It, she's gotten so, you've gotten so much better. How boring is it though to watch a cyclist ride his bike for 20 minutes? Like you're driving I mean, so- I mean, it's not boring because I'm not watching you. I'm like just trying to drive good. So it's, there's a lot going on because I'm trying to get as close as possible to you, which is super close. So if anything happens, I'll, I'm gonna hit you. And then I'm also having to make sure no cars are coming behind me because then that's a whole thing. I gotta put on my flashers and make sure they can go around. Then I'm also having to watch where I'm going. So it's three things that I'm having to think about at one time while also having the kids in the car being kids. Totally. I'm really glad that we've been doing these daily vlogs because you get to see a little bit more about her, I think, and, and what goes into just a lot of this stuff. And Because beforehand, you know, I would say thanks and stuff like that, but you didn't really no right all the credit to her she's amazing uh we had a good dinner uh everything's good this is gonna go up on christmas eve and then i guess it's weird that our christmas video is gonna go up after christmas so you'll see the christmas eve video on christmas uh which is strange and so even though it's a recovery week i still want to throw in a little bit of intensity so really all i did was super low intensity then I just did an 18 minute effort, that's it. Uh, so 18 minutes of intensity today, that's not a big deal. That's not ruining my rest week. I actually had had a 20 minute power test scheduled from my coach. Uh, so, you know, we're still on track. We're still, we're still rocking. I appreciate you. Um, many more super douche uh, installments to come. Do you have anything else to say? No. Nope. How's my dancing? You good. Hey guys, I super appreciate you. And as always. <laughs> How does she know? Like she knew in your tone. She put everything back and she got ready. <laughs> okay. As always, vegan cyclist. Yeah! Okay.